Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to another Sweet Talk with Taylor. Today we're going to talk a little bit about organizing and managing the projects that you may have in Construction Suite. Uh, this is going to include uh, details like grouping and project status. Uh, it's going to include archiving and how to show those archived projects as well once you've archived those and what that actually means, as well as some of the advanced grouping features that we have in Construction Suite that allow you to really detail and customize the way that you're viewing your projects, whether it's by group, by status, by state, uh, any other form of organization that you want to look at. And that's really one of the more powerful tools with Construction Suite as far as the organization goes that allows you to do that not only with projects but with contacts and other grid type displays in the system. Uh, but today projects is really all we're focusing on. Um, and so to get started I'm going to go ahead and go over to our projects tab on the left hand side and let you see some of the projects that we already have in the system. And so you'll see that we have it looks like six projects showing here with some details, things like type, uh, the status of these projects, the client, address, city, state, etc. Uh, what we can do here is actually uh, kind of the first thing you'll notice is at the top we've got these bubble sorts that have different project statuses. Um, and these do come preloaded with Construction Suite. You can customize these very easily though, however. And so you'll see I kind of have mine in a timeline or a pipeline view to where it goes from pending to approved to financing, sold in progress, closing complete. Uh, if you want to edit these, you can go up to the gear or the settings icon in the top right, click on that and see all of the existing statuses. And from here, you can either add new ones if you would like to. Uh, we have some icons for you to choose from as well to kind of designate uh, the representation of that. Uh, you can also choose which ones are displaying. So if you select all and then maybe unselect uh, the financing stage and click OK, That'll actually remove that from my bubble sorts, and if I want to go back and add it, all I have to do is go back and check that box again, and it comes right back. The cool thing about these bubble sorts is that you can actually click on them here in the interface, and it will filter out automatically for you uh, based on the projects that are actually assigned to that. So you'll see I have one in financing, I've got two in progress, one pending, and then if you want to get back, you can either click on all, um, or just click on, and actually I don't have a status labeled all in this case, um, but you can just click on the one you're filtering by again, and it will take that off and go back to the all projects. You can also do things like archive projects. So if you want to say, if you finished up a project, don't want to get rid of all the information in case you need to come back to it later, but want to hide that effectively, um, you could of course assign it as complete and have that stored there so that when you're filtering out, it doesn't show those. Or you could actually archive the project, which completely removes it from view here. And you can do that by actually right clicking on one, say this Tome Home Reno and choosing to archive this. And you'll see now that that's disappeared, so it's no longer available here. But if I ever need to go back and grab that information or look at that project, maybe for reference on a future project that's similar, um, or if anything legal comes up, you know, if that happens in the construction industry, you need to go back and look at documentation or look at the proposal, contracts, estimates, things like that. Uh, you can just go up to our tools menu and then choose to show archived projects. And that will bring everything back. You'll actually see that I have quite a few of archived projects in here that weren't showing when we actually logged in initially. And so I can go back and look at any of these like this Tome Home and see all the schedules, proposals, estimates, etc. that I previously had, but they're not cluttering up my view as I'm working on a day-to-day -day basis. If I want to go back and hide those again, I just go back up to Tools and Hide Archive Projects. And now they disappear and it's much cleaner. I can get back to the projects that are actually at hand. Um, and the ones that are active and I'm focusing on now. Another thing you can do here as far as organizing these projects, you'll notice in this grid we have different columns that are available here. Uh, first thing, you can actually customize these columns that are showing by right-clicking on any of these headers and check the columns or the details, the information that you would actually like to show here. So if I want to show a little more on the actual costs, committed costs, and invoiced amounts, maybe if I'm bringing these in from QuickBooks, I can do that. Um, I can show the project group, for example. And if I close out of this, now you'll see that those have activated some of these additional columns. And I can drag these around to different places if I would like to reorganize those, maybe by priority. Make sure that I see the important information first. You can also do custom columns or custom project fields in this sense. If you actually go in and edit a project, say we right click and go to edit, the custom tab at the end is available. So you can see that I have loan amount and loan rates as custom fields. Maybe I want to add something like the um, padlock code, you know, on the on the residence or the house or the even the gate to the property. And if I put that in here, now that I have that custom field, I can go back, right click on these column headers, and I've got this column available so that if I have information on that project, I can actually see that in my grid as well. 
Uh, so customizing the information here is really easy. Um, those custom fields are gonna be a great help to a lot of you guys. Uh, but another thing that you can do is grouping by specific headers like project group or by client or by status even uh, to make this easier to see and actually organize it in a way that makes sense to you. Uh, and how you can do that is actually go up to this view tab at the top and do the group by option. What that's gonna do is give you this column header, uh, gray, light gray color here that you can actually drag any of these other columns to. So say that we actually go over and look at our type. If I drag the type column, just click and drag right up here, you'll see these two arrows come up. When I drop that, it's now organized all my projects by type, and so I can see all my production building, uh, all my single family residential and training in this case, and expandable and collapsible menus, and see those kind of all in line. Another feature that you can use here with our aggregate reporting um, and by the way, to get rid of these groups, all you have to do is drag them back down to the grid and they'll ungroup by that. Uh, but you'll see now I have this totals row here that I've chosen by uh, clicking the show summary row up at the top. And this will actually give you, if there's anything dollar value or numerical in these uh, rows, will actually give you the total for all of these. So depending on what you're filtering by, you know, financing in progress, pending, anything like that, you can actually see that that's going to give you the totals um, for all of your projects and show those there as well. Finally, there is one more option that you can actually do to filter by, and that's up at the top in the actual filter by section. Uh, this allows you, in addition to the bubble sort and some of the grouping and things like that, to actually go in and filter by a specific contact or client, um, a specific contact group, project group, uh, project status or type. So if I wanted to go through and say project type, uh, do this by production building, that'll filter everything out other than this one project, the Murphy townhome, um, and let me see those and isolate that information. But if I want to uh, get back to where I was, all I have to do is click this button right here to clear the filter, and it brings me right back to um, all of my information. Uh, finally, as you're organizing those, grouping, collapsing, filtering, things like that, you can export any of those to an Excel spreadsheet. It actually keeps that formatting in the collapsible or expandable groups as well. Um, and that can actually be a good idea if you want to take that and actually send it to somebody else, maybe that's on your team not using Construction Suite, or maybe just generate a report type uh, of document for all of this information outside of Construction Suite, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, but as far as the organizing and managing projects go, that is really uh, a lot of what Construction Suite has to offer. A lot of great tools there with the bubble sorts, filters and such. Uh, it's something you can really take and customize and make your own and see all of the information that you ever need to see. Uh, thanks for tuning in.